welcome to another router gods video my name is humphrey chung and in this video we're going to do a qos lab quality of service lab and this will be part one of the lab what we want to do is we've got a four router network right here i know even though these end routers are named pc1 and pc2 they're actually routers and what we can assume here is that pc1 is in the boss's office so let me just label this boss's office and being the boss he wants very fast internet, you know. He does not want his emails to be dropped. He doesn't want his Facebook to be slow. So we want to give him top priority in traffic versus the other peons that he manages and rules over. So, okay, to do that, we are going to start off by enabling a routing protocol on all of these routers. It's going to be pretty easy. And I think we'll start off with uh, EIGRP, always a good protocol to run with. Then for step two, we're going to configure MQC, the MQC on router one, and we're going to do the class map, the policy map, and the service policy commands. And our objective here, or actually the steps to do here, is we're going to look at the traffic coming from PC1, and we want to classify it with IP precedence of five, which is critical. Critical traffic. We want to mark it here, and then in the next video, we're going to take a look at it on router two, and we're going to give it a priority. We're going to set some type of priority for that traffic. So R1 marks it, and R2 is actually going to do something with that marking. All right, so let's start off. We're going to open up Notepad, and I already have some stuff typed in here. ConfT, router EIGRP1, no auto, network all zero. So that's going to start off our EIGRP on all four routers. So let's just pop in our routers into the window here. Very easy. Right click. That's PC1. PC2 is over here. Right click. That's done on PC2. Router 1. Ooh, we got some errors here. We got a duplex mismatch on fast Ethernet 00. I'm going to take care of that. Int fast 00. Speed 100. Duplex full. And I do have a video on that. Now I'm going to right click my EIGRP stuff and that pops in there. And router 2 has the same duplex mismatch. That's easy to fix. Interface fast 00. zero. Lock in the speed, lock in the duplex. And right click for my EIGRP stuff. And we are done. All the adjacencies come up. And if I do a show IP route, I have D routes. I can ping all the way to PC1, so that's good. And then I can ping towards PC2, and that's also good. So life is good. So what we're concerned about here is router one. So we wanna actually take a look at traffic, or let me just move this window over here, move my notepad out of the way. Okay, so we've configured a routing protocol as step one. Step two, configure the MQC on router one, and we're going to start with a class map. So class map is pretty easy. This is going to determine what traffic we look at. Oh, it looks like I still have a duplex mismatch. Oh, this is actually towards PC1, okay. So I'm gonna take care of that, int fast zero zero, speed 100, duplex full. I typed a little bit too fast there. Now I'm going to go back to PC1. Int fast 00, zero speed 100, duplex full. And hopefully that's going to take care of my error messages there. All right. So getting back to router 1. Uh, actually, first we're going to make an access list. Access list 1, and that's going to match this IP address, 10.10.12.2, so all traffic coming from that IP address. Permit, 10.10.12.2. And that's probably the simplest access list you'll ever see, and we're going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to configure the class map. Class map, and let's call this Match Boss. How about that? And better yet, let's do it all capital letters, Match Boss. And if we do a question mark here, you could see that Couple, there's a couple commands here, but the one we're looking at is the word match. So let's type in match, question mark, 
and you can see this command right here, axis group. So match an axis group. And as you guessed, we are going to match number one. We want to look at all IP addresses matching access group, which in turn will match the access list one. Okay, we got that. We're going to exit out. And now we're going to do the policy map. Policy map is actually going to set the IP precedence. So policy map. So now we have to give it a name. You probably want to give it a name that will uh, make sense to you if you do a show run. So let's call this boss set PREC. So boss set precedence. Or how about, uh, let's actually make it sound English like set boss precedence five. How about that? Set boss precedence five. Enter. We'll do a question mark. And here it's saying, okay, what class do you want to apply this policy map to? So class. And let's actually go back here. Our class map that we did was match boss. So we want to do match boss right there. Enter. And then what do we want to do? We want to set a QS value. So set question mark precedence question mark. And here's what's cool. If you know the numbers already, then you could set it by number, but as a handy guide, Cisco has provided you with easy to remember names and the corresponding numbers. So you can see here that five is critical. So whether you type in set precedence five or set precedence critical, it will accomplish the same thing. So here we'll set precedence of five, which is pretty nice. Hit enter right there, and then we will exit out. All right, and now we're going to go into the interface to do service policy, and this will actually hook on this policy map to inspect and set those addresses or set that IP precedence to incoming packets because PC1 is going to send out the traffic, and we need to actually set the IP precedence on FAST00. So packets are coming in this way on the way to maybe router 2 or anywhere else and we need to hook the policy here. Okay, so we'll go into interface fast zero zero, and the command is service policy, question mark, and you guessed it, we're going to be doing this on the input inbound, and then the policy map name, which is pretty easy, set boss PREC. So it's very easy to mess this up, because if you have the name wrong, it's not going to work. So service policy input set boss PRC. Whoops. Oh, and it will tell you that you messed up. Okay, so we'll hit the up arrow a couple times to get back to our policy map. Policy map set boss. Okay, we forgot the five at the end. Not a problem. So we'll just add the five at the end, service policy input set boss precedence five and enter right there. Okay, so we can do a couple show commands to verify our stuff. We could obviously do a show run. And as I hit space a couple of times, eventually we will get to the class map and the policy map. So it's very much like programming the policy map of set boss precedence five goes to the class map match boss, which is up here. And it's saying anything that matches this will be set at precedence of five. We could also show service or show policy map. And it gives us sort of a nice and easy way of looking at things. We could also do this very nice command, show policy map interface fast zero zero and it will tell us whether packets have been matched and set. So you can see here already we have 10 packets that have been marked with precedence of five. Now here's what's cool. Let's verify that this is working correctly. We're gonna go, I'm gonna have PC one and router one up on screen. Hit the up arrow, do that show policy map interface fast zero zero. You can see I have 16 packets marked. On PC1, I'm going to ping all the way to all twos. 
So this is pinging the loopback of router 2. And we're going to set a repeat of 100,000. So basically ping a long time. So it's firing up the pings. I'll go back to router 1, hit the up arrow. And you can see here packets marked 480. Hit the up arrow again. And packets marked 980. So it's definitely going up. It's marking all of these packets going towards router 2. All right, so this was part one of our QoS lab. In the next part, we will configure router two to give some priority to those packets that are marked with IP Prestance 5. Thanks for watching.